What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a quick news information video for Monster Hunter. This is a roundup of miscellaneous news for both Monster Hunter World Iceborne and Monster Hunter Rise. This is also for the week starting the 29th of January 2021. Now we've got a few bits of information to go through but it's nothing substantial. It's almost like there's lots of little bits of news more than anything else. So first of all with Monster Hunter World Iceborne, the Grand Appreciation Fest has now gone away. We no longer have access to the seasonal event so we don't get the special tickets as well as we don't get the daily limited bounties. They've reverted back to weekly limited bounties. This will probably continue for about another two weeks before we get the next seasonal event. But sticking with Monster Hunter World Iceborne, the Safi Jiva Siege has disappeared, it's gone away and it's been replaced with the Kulftarov Siege as well as the Master Rank Kulftarov Event Quest. So if you need any of the Kiar weapons, now's the time to get farming. And finally with Monster Hunter World, on the 26th of January, the game saw its 3 year anniversary. In a way, Monster Hunter World has completely changed not only my YouTube channel but my work in life as well. So I am eternally thankful for the game as well as all the wonderful players and hunters I've met through it. So I cannot wait to see what happens next. But anyway, moving on from Monster Hunter World to Monster Hunter Rise. Now two bits of information to go over with the new Switch game. First of all, the Monster Hunter Rise demo will be ending shortly. It ends on the 1st of February. So don't forget to download it and try it out if you have the chance. On top of that, if you play the demo and you keep the saved data from the demo on your Switch system, then you'll be rewarded with an item pack known as the Demo Player Bonus. This gives you 20 Mega Potions, 5 Pitfall Traps, 10 Energy Drinks, 5 Mega Demon Drugs and 5 Armor Skins. So it's a nice little addition, a nice little boost to get you started for when Rise is released. And then finally for Monster Hunter Rise news, Nintendo and Capcom have come out and revealed a Monster Hunter Rise Nintendo Switch, as well as a Monster Hunter Rise Pro Controller. This is a Switch that is decorated with Monster Hunter Rise decorations and looks gorgeous. To be honest, a lot of the Monster Hunter consoles as well as Monster Hunter specific controllers always look nice. They're very elegantly designed and is great for collectors out there. I must confess, as I don't own a Switch, I am tempted by this edition. However, it's not like I'm swimming in cash, so I have to be a little bit smart when it comes to getting a Nintendo Switch for when Rise releases. I'll probably end up getting a second-hand one, in all honesty. But regardless, if you're looking for a Nintendo Switch to play Monster Hunter Rise on, and you have a little bit of money to burn, this is a wonderful addition. But that's about it for this week's news roundup for Monster Hunter. In regards to Monster Hunter content on the channel, I'm still bringing out the best of the best guides for the various weapons in the game. And then we'll be moving on to meme builds as we prepare for Monster Hunter Rise release. I'll also be experimenting and dabbling in a few extra games, so you may see an odd video here and there. But there's still plenty of Monster Hunter content to come on the channel. So, as always, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below, and until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you a quick news roundup for Monster Hunter. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.